This is Twit. So here's a question for all of you. Ready? When you search in Safari on your iPhone, which search engine do you want to use? Is it Google? Well, better not be. Next year, it might get a lot harder to be Google because the Safari browser for both iOS and Mac could have a new default search partner when Apple's current deal with Google is reportedly set to expire in early 2015. This is according to a new report in the information, which also says that the most likely replacement candidates, Yahoo and Microsoft, have already spoken with Apple's Eddie Q about replacing Google. And it's not really that weird if you think about it, because Apple's been scrubbing Google from iOS for years. The company already placed Google in Siri with Microsoft's Bing with the launch of iOS 7 back in 2013. Although you can still tell Siri to search Google if you don't like what Bing brings back to you. Search Google. I can do that. Search Google for Petaluma Auto Dealership. Back in 2012, Apple replaced Google Maps with its own proprietary Apple Maps to much chagrin, though you can still get Google Maps as a standalone app. Same goes for YouTube. So yeah, not having Google search as a default wouldn't be the end of the world because you've still got the Chrome browser app and other Google-based search tools, and you can still use Google, but lots of people won't know that or they just won't care. They'll just use Safari and whatever default search tool they're given. So my thinking is, it's a little strange to have Bing as Siri search partner, right? And then have Yahoo as Safari search partner because searching in iOS should be as harmonious as possible. By that logic, I say Microsoft will end up winning this war. Then again, Yahoo CEO Marissa Meyer says she really wants to get into iOS, so maybe she can negotiate a full takeover. Apple and Yahoo swapping money. Stranger things have happened.